Afternoon. Nellie Bly to see Pulitzer. Nellie Bly, 3 p.m. appointment. I'm afraid you're 35 minutes premature. Scarcely any harm. I can wait. Of course, Miss Bly. Peculiar name. A pseudonym. All real writers have one, so that they see fit to speak their minds. Oh, I see. You are a writer. Do you not receive inquiries such as mine frequently? No, I can't say we receive many inquiries quite the nature of yours. I'm afraid I don't follow. Miss Blight, the only women that the New York world employs are those who maintain our facilities. Well, that simply tells me Mr. Pulitzer hasn't found the right woman yet. So, what is it you write about? Society, fashion, advice? I was under the impression that my interview would be with Mr. Pulitzer. Well, it's hardly my fault you arrived so abhorrently early for your appointment. Mr. Pulitzer will see you now, Miss Bly. Why, thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you. Bly, I presume? Yes, sir. I'm looking to... I reviewed the portfolio you mailed in. You've got voice, but your lack of training and technique is painfully obvious in your work. I have no need for another Fashion of Society columnist this time. My apologies. Mr. Pulitzer, I don't mean to appear contrary, but surely if you'd read the pieces, you'd know clothing and gossip are hardly my topics of choice. Are you a hysterical woman? It would be wildly inappropriate and utterly irresponsible of me to offer you the position of field correspondent. Now please take your papers and leave, or I shall have my clerk assist you. Mr. Pulitzer, with all due respect, I am experienced in the field. Years of reporting and writing and... The Pittsburgh Dispatch adored me. Miss Bly, I needn't remind you, you stand in the offices of the New York World, the highest circulation journal in this country. I have no need to hire some untrained, spunky young woman, as did your previous employer. Now please take your papers and leave. Mr. Pulitzer, I... So help me God, woman. I have an idea. If you'll simply hear me out. On the 22nd of September, I asked the New York World for permission to have myself committed to Blackwell Asylum for the Insane with the intentions of creating an unvarnished narrative of the treatment of the mentally unstable and methods of management. But did I believe I had the stamina required to carry out such a taxing mission? Could I convincingly and consistently adopt the traits of the insane? It would become of the utmost importance that no one be alerted to the fact that I was a keen observer among them, taking careful notes. Nell Brown? Aged 23 years, taken into custody 8.15 p.m. last night from Temporary Home for Females for charges of insane behavior. Excuse me, I... My name is Nell. I just arrived this morning. I... Oh. What can I call you? You are verbal, I presume? Abigail. Pleasure. Pleasure.
No husband to speak of? Children? No. No husband. No children. Are your cycles regular each month? Um, I have no habit of keeping track of them. Okay. Traditional case of female hysterical neurosis. My recommendations for treatment moving forward is medication and sexual therapy. Hysterical neurosis? Yes, it's shockingly and incredibly common among girls your age and your condition. I'm afraid I don't understand. Your understanding is not particularly integral to your treatment. Uh, female hysteria is a disease of the unfulfilled woman's mind. That is the most apt way I can explain it to you, Miss Brown. Pardon me, but you cannot be serious. Uh, <laughs> believe me, uh, common manifestations of the illness take the form of nervousness, hallucinations, emotional outbursts, various urges of the sexual variety. Speaking of which, uh, please inform me of your sexual habits to date. I will do no such thing. The only insane person present is yourself and whatever nonsense you're reading off this damn clipboard. <clears throat> Miss Brown, I will need to ask you to take your seat so I can continue your treatment. And I will have you know that this damned nonsense, as you have so elegantly put it, is the esteemed work of psychoanalyst Dr. Sigmund Freud. I've no medical degree to my name, and I can confidently tell you my failure to conceive, as you so elegantly phrased it, is absolutely no indicator of hysteria. This is absolute madness. How can you not see I'm just as sound of mind as you? Klaus! If this were all a mistake, if I were committed here by accident, what would convince you that I was sane? Oh, I am sure that a nice cold pressure shower will reset your equilibrium. We can continue with treatment once you all are over this little episode. Episode? A pleasant first session, I see. The more sanely I spoke to that man, the crazier he thought I was. Please don't be silent. You've no idea how much I need simply to speak with someone. How long have you been here? Coming on a year. Do you have a husband? Yes. I suppose you miss him terribly. He likes me better here, I suppose. Of course, his Catholic father wouldn't have had a divorce in the family. So he found it more convenient to commit you rather than end the marriage? You'll find a great deal of the women here were more or less an inconvenience rather than ill. Gather your belongings. Quickly, please. We will begin the checkout process as soon as you have redressed. I've provided you with specific guardian instructions for furthering care in the home and maintaining what little progress she has made in her time here with us. Thank you, Doctor. Though, sir, I would strongly recommend that you consider a longer stay with us if her behavior does not improve. Thank you for your guidance, Doctor. Caring for the ill can be daunting. That it is. I wish you the best. Allow me. Thank 
Collect everything you need for your little expose, Ms. Bly. I need to tell you, of all people, the power of the press. That was one hell of a story, Miss Bly. I've really only come to thank you for the opportunity and for ultimately publishing the piece. As you said, I'm only a novelty. Well, the feature certainly has been popular with the Mr. Years. Pulitzer, I realize your respect is a hard win, but if I were a betting woman, I'd be willing to wager you'll be interested in my most recent idea.